All right. <clears throat> so I think this play right here is a great example of uh, the defense that it is that these guys have going on at Chapin and why it is that they are so good. So as we see right off the bat, right, you got that one-on-one -on -one going on and everything like that. Now, the, the biggest thing that I want you guys to understand, your job as the main defender <clears throat> isn't to get a turnover, isn't to freaking steal the ball or anything like that. It's to stay in front of your man. Like, that's it. And she's doing it here. She does a good job getting her hands on her, keeping her from going in, avoids the screen. Look at her feet. Constantly moving. Chop, 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 chop. Never standing, right? Just stay in front of your man. That's all you got to do. Because what's going on in the background the whole time, you've got the rotations going through, right? Watch number three right here. She does a heck of a job. She understands that she wants a little bit of space between herself and the offensive player, so she's not getting caught on anything, right? And watch right here. She's just constantly shifting. Watch. As soon as she sees that she's going to go to the right, well, her right, defensive left, she rotates over. She wants to make sure that the offensive player knows this is not a free lane for you. She's ready to go. And everybody, everybody's kind of moving around, trying to stay in between the passing lanes and everything like that. Now allowing like a free runner to the corner because that's exactly what you wanted to do right here, number 20, right? Okay, I wanted to come across all the way over here. That would be perfect for her because it gives her an outlet. But no, 24 takes it away. And then watch. So once she gets this pass, heck of a pass. You have an aggressive closeout. Somewhat aggressive. 24, I, th I, I would like 24 to be coming up here already. But she gets there. Oh, okay, that's what's going on. So because she's being so aggressive, she's letting her, but look, she instantly rotates to not allow that passing lane to be too easy. You've got number two helping off. I don't know that I'd be helping, but hey, it was effective right there. It's not like she, even though she hit a three in this game and everything like that, I wouldn't call her a sharpshooter necessarily. She does a big old swipe. It's a good thing she missed everything or else it would have been a foul. But again, number three, right? Watch, she does a heck of a job protecting the paint. You don't need the size necessarily, it's the presence. So there she is, there she is, there she is, she's there. Heck of a job. And then 2 4 with the rebound. Good work all around, but it just kind of tells you just the discipline level that they have. They understand rotations, uh, they understand what you want to do when you're off ball, uh, cutting off lanes, and then kind of closing out kind of aggressively, understanding that if they get beat inside, they've got their their team helping them out down low. So this one right here, I kind of want to show off. Um, once again, number three. I didn't, uh, I didn't realize there was going to be this many of her, but kind of a great example of if you're getting beat, what to do, and then when you get beat, how to finish, right? So she's giving up the sideline. She understands no middle, no middle, no middle. Now, the swim move was a little early by Ari. But it's all right. But look, that little that little check right there, you don't have to, as a defender, understand something. You don't have to constantly be on them. Once you get that little chip, that slows them down just enough to watch number three turns her hips and just sprints, right? Look at that literal no longer touching her or anything like that is now just a sprinter because she understands I don't want to give you this easy basket. So she gets there. She acknowledges now that she's beat. Ari has beat her anyway. So she does a perfect thing. Hands up to show that I'm not trying to commit a foul or anything like that, but stays on her hip. Make it uncomfortable. So I, I assure you this would have been, a, even if 2-4 hadn't come through and done what she did, this would have been a very difficult uh, layup for her because 3 Without fouling her, without even going for the shot, just makes it uncomfortable staying on her hip. Now, another note here, 4-4, four, four, the seal just didn't happen. And I've seen her make a seal multiple times. But I think on this one, she was just kind of expecting Adi to kind of dump the ball up. Like she does, like she attempts to right there. <clears throat> but the seal doesn't happen, so 2-4 is able to get in position. Even though she's out of position and everything like that. So, it's just another one uh, of the little things and everything like that. One heck of a job by this defense, I'm telling you. I, I loved watching this defense. It was awesome. All right, here we go again. Talking about uh, Chapin's defense and everything like that. And then surprisingly, 
number three sticking out again. This is why I watch film, right? Because I didn't even notice that she was uh, doing all that she had uh, until now that I've been watching film and everything. So we got commun communication going on in the back. Uh, they're man on, but they understand. Even though it's man on, you do not give up the middle and you do not give up a lane, right? Do not give up an easy drive. So you still, I don't know what they're saying there. They're talking, I'm guessing cross, cross, cross. There it is. Uses the pick right here. Number 23 is beat, but two already knew what was coming, right? That edge right there. This right here, when you see multiple, when you see almost the entire team doing this, one hand on, the other one up, it just shows you the the level of discipline that these coaches have done to, to kind of just repeatedly just put it in their head because it's not just one that's doing it. The whole team, from what I've noticed, has done it. Now let's talk about three, right? Deny, deny, deny. Right up here. She's like, okay, I understand. I got to stay in this passing lane because she's known to get 4-4 to ball. Give her those buckets. Look at that. Deny, deny. She's looking around to see where she needs to rotate to. Nobody's behind her. Okay. Sets back up, but she's still looking for her man. And then as soon as her man tries to reposition, deny, deny, deny. What a job right there. You don't have to have a, like you don't have to be super tall or anything like that. You just have to have the right footwork and you have to have the will. Look at that. One heck of a job. Just completely took 4-4 four four out of the game. Or at least out of this play. One heck of a job. Awesome. So I know last week I talked about uh fear or the Hall of Fame uh Intimidator badge, right? That Ari has on her. Well, this right here is kind of an example of what happens um, when your team is constantly being physical and very, very intense, right? When you, Adi is used to being bumped every single time she's doing just about anything. As soon as she starts driving, so on and so forth. And you see it here. However, Adi still gets by them, right? Because it's Adi. She's a baller. But then what throws her off is what happens here. No contact at all. I think this was the only time through the entire game that she was anywhere near the hoop and there was no contact. And I think that's what just, I mean, it completely messed her up. And it's, I'm telling you, it's the whole, if you're physical all the time, kind of like that expression, pulling the chair, right? That's pretty much exactly what they did on this shot right here. And it just, it throws you way off. And of course, yeah, she's coming at a weird angle, but I know for a fact that she's skilled enough to be able to rotate her hips and get that shot off very well. But I know what threw her off was the contact list. And it's, again, talking about how you don't have to win every single battle on defense. If you just stay in front of them, you make it difficult for them, they'll make the mistakes, right? Allow the offense to make those, those mistakes. Look, there's no foul going on here, nothing at all. You've got, is she, actually, I didn't even notice this. Oh, I was going to say, she's actually boxing out. <laughs> even a great defense like Chapman, look, you're not, you're not seeing the boxing out, right? That's, it seems like all of Texas, not just El Paso, but, yeah, but I'm telling you, it, it, the level of physicality that they had the entire game, this was the one time that I saw her anywhere near the basket where she wasn't being bumped, and it just really threw her off, and it would throw anybody off, but, yeah. All right, so, uh, what, what is that, what is that called? Fucking arm check, hip check? I think it's called arm check. Let me look it up. Hand check. All right. All right, so let's talk uh, hand checking, right? So it was said that it was taken out of basketball, so on and so forth. It, it isn't at all. I don't think it, it could ever be. Um, but good defenders know how to do it without getting a foul called on them, right? So here we go. So as soon as you see her, she closes in, closes in. Make sure she's not too comfortable. Her hand's going immediately on, right? Adi swipes it off. Great work right there. Goes back at it. But watch. She's using her inside hand to get up on her hip. And look at her offhand. I'm telling you, this team did this all night. Every player that was on the ball. The whole time. And then watch. 
her hand doesn't stay here. If you if your hand stays here, it's going to be called a foul. Especially with the ref looking right at it. And then these guys were calling everything. But watch. She shows her hand. Her hand's out. She's just staying at her hip. That's all she's doing. She's staying at her hip. Yes, she is beat here. Yes, the offense technically won. But she is staying at her hip. Just continue to make it uncomfortable and everything like that. And watch. I like what 3-4 does right here. So, Adi gets that little dump off. But watch 3-4. You see that? So a lot of the times, <clears throat> a lot of players forget about the passer, right? The defense tends to forget about the passer sometimes. Which would have been really bad for them because if she had found her wide open here, I mean, that's your top scorer right there. But then she does find number, I believe it's number three, right? Yeah. She gets one heck of a bucket right here. Great work. And then being on a team like this where you've realized, let's say, let's put ourselves in her shoes, right? The whole defense is surrounded around keeping the lane closed, which is what Adi does best at scoring and 4-4 does best at scoring, right? Your two top scorers. So your job, like, I don't I don't like her stance here. And uh, I think I was talking to, yeah, I was talking to Elijah and Asias about this the other night. Like, be ready. Be ready to catch. I mean, she does, I mean, she does that perfect one, two, pop, pop into it, which is good. But I want her, like, ready now. To get that ball, being in the athletic stance. Great work though, one, two, and that's exactly what you want. You want to be a complete team, this is exactly what you need to be having. When you have an opportunity, when when your top two players have taken down the defense, when they've done their part, like the defense has done a heck of a job to closing them out, two's out, four, four's out, they get you the ball, buckets. Great work, three. Here's another great example of it. Just You don't have to steal. You don't have to block. You just have to make it difficult. Don't let it be easy. Look at that. I'm telling you, this right here, the whole time. Great job out there, coach. Like, And, of course, players executing. Right? It doesn't matter how much knowledge a coach has or how great his drills are or his practices. It's You guys still got to come through and execute during the game. So great work on y'all, too. A good job. Like, you literally don't have to do anything other than just make it difficult. Great work. And then, of course, a foul at the end by five. But still, main focus is here, right? That's, that's who's not going to beat you because if you allow her to get buckets, that team does have a chance to beat you easily. So this one's kind of a note. For uh, a lot of the younger people, a lot of the younger players just starting out, and even the older ones, that if you're finding yourself missing contact finishes, nine times out of ten, it's going to be because you're not practicing them enough, right? I've even seen players out there that are getting 50 shots off, 53, so on and so forth, and that's good and all. But the most basic of all, right, getting down in the lane and actually scoring, that's something you want to be working on as well. Get somebody, you know, giving you pressure, getting in front of you, and they don't have to foul you. Right, just simple as that. Just get in the way, arm straight up. Just get in your way, so that way you're comfortable with it. Now she does a heck of a job right here. Watch her eyes, finding the basket. So she does a heck of a job with her eyes. She's doing that right. She's going off of the correct leg and everything like that. I personally would give contact here. I would intentionally go for the contact, just because one, you get more more likely to get a foul, and then two, you take away the opportunity for them to block. You get to create the contact right. But yeah, I'm telling you guys, practice these things. Layups, 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 practice them. Make it uncomfortable for yourself. Uh, make it weird how you're jumping and everything like that. And then, of course, like I tell the kids all the time, use the glass. All of the glass. Not just here, where everybody does. All of the glass. Learn to use it all. Think Kyrie, right? Think all the NBA players. But Kyrie is just, I mean, I don't think there, there's ever been or will be somebody that can use the glass the way that that man does constantly. In volume, too. All right, so on here, we're going to see two different things. One, again, just staying in front of your man. And two, passing lanes, right? So Adi 100% has the skill and ability to just drive this on her own. No chance of anybody stopping her, right? Except if you just try and just get in front of her. That's a great job, closing in the distance. 
get your body on her so that way once you have that arm and you hit it you're slowing her down so that's it just jog next to her or not really jog but sprint next to her and everything like that and then once you get an opportunity to get in front of her three four right here understanding look at that i'm right here the whole time and then again passing lanes right passing lane right here this one's coming through for another passing lane. Just uh, The defense is just understanding that there are pass passing lanes, and I want to take that away from you. So that when you do a pass like this, you got no chance. No passing lane available, right? It's a great work, and I'm telling you. like You don't have to be the greatest freaking defender or anything like that. Just hustle. Stay there. As soon as you get the opportunity, great work, 3-4. I mean, 3-4 just wanted those cookies to begin with. Oh, uh, man, I love her hustle. Good work, y'all. So adjustments, right? <clears throat> when it comes to what it is that a defense and offense can do, you, you got to make adjustments. So this is at the end of the, after the first half, somewhat closer to the beginning of the, of the third quarter and everything like that. And their defense has completely shifted. I think Adi had about nine drives um in the first maybe more drives into the basket whether they were she was fouled or she missed like i had shown you earlier or anything like that but if there's one thing they knew is they wanted to take away her touching the ball so here it's off of a rebound and i'm telling you in the third quarter which is where everything completely shifted i already had two drives she only had two opportunities for two drives and i'll, I'll show you a little bit more uh here in a bit as to why that is but she's coming through and everything like that. One of only two opportunities that she ends up getting for an actual clean drive in the third quarter. And then still don't make it easy. It's a heck of a job at protecting the baby right there. And then remember what I told you. Work on them layups. Make it uncomfortable. Full speed. Half speed. Off of one foot. Two feet. Awkward foot. All of that. Use all of the glass. But this defense, they completely adjusted their game plan when it came to it. And actually, you know what? I could take, I could do it now. I could show you now. All right. So this right here, it's pretty much like I said. Um, well, this is the fourth quarter, but this is literally what they did the entire third quarter. Look at the score difference. I mean, I I can't remember what it was at halftime, but they only ended up scoring I think two or three points, and uh, they were at the time only up by about fifteen points. But that third quarter. This is what they did the entire third quarter. Five. They got five players in the front court, right? As soon as the ball comes in and everything like that, everybody is like looking for something to do, right? She's here as a safety. She's ready for the double. She gets the double. Now she becomes a safety. Yeah, they end up getting a foul because they're aggressive. But the coaches understand that if I create nothing but ballers, if everybody hustles and everybody tries... I don't mind if you end up getting three, four fouls. I will rotate you out. All right, so let's look at the next one. No, nope, this ain't it. Right here. So, again, as soon as she gets the ball right, you got one full court pressing. You've got the other one just waiting right here. Everyone's just waiting to when they're going to double you. She got three men ready to go right there. She ends up getting that aggressively close, aggressive, aggressive, aggressive. Rest doesn't matter really. But my point here, they were just getting the ball out of her hand, making it impossible for her to continue doing anything. Because the coaches saw, yeah, she had like nine or so drives in the first half, and all of them she became a threat to score, or she ended up getting an easy, uh, easier bucket for somebody else. So they're like, okay, then you're not going to drive anymore. Like, in the third quarter, they just didn't even allow her to get the ball in the front court. Like, it was it was so rare for it to have happened. And the only reason it changed in the fourth quarter is because they had built such a such a lead that they kind of, like, let off a little bit. Not on her, but you'll see what I mean here. And actually, yeah, so this is the fourth quarter already. And this is the first time that I catch her actually getting to do a one-on-one -on -one with somebody. Like, an actual one-on-one. -on -one. And let's... Let me show you why Adi is Adi. Literally, the first chance she gets to be one-on-one. -on -one. 
First of all, on the catch right here, look at that. This is what you guys always want to work on. Landing on two. Yeah, it looks like one, two, but it's it's still landing on two, right? She got her pivot foot and everything like that. She understands not to keep the ball right here where the defender can poke at it and everything. Just kind of trying to see, see if the defender's going to move. All right, so you're going to move this way too easy. Think Iverson. When Iverson gets you like on the first one, like pop pop. He wants to see what you're going to do as a defender. She does a great job. She feels you out. She's like, okay, so you're going to rotate that much. Then let me get you this way and let's go. Now this right here, Adi. If you could just, if this could become your move, your go-to, I'm telling you, it doesn't matter how aggressive they are. Because they are so afraid of your drive, you're going to be fine. This is this move right here is what we need to work on. That, and of course, like I had said before, getting people under you when you're shooting. Making you uncomfortable while you're shooting. Great work right there. Buckets. That's just Adi being Adi. And then... What's funny, so right after this happens, right, very first play right after that, <laughs> I don't know if you'll be able to hear it in the audio, but let's see. Like, the <laughs> next chance, they're like, all right, cool, you got cute, that's not going to happen, the coach sends, <laughs> get that double going, no, nope. don't let her be comfortable, three players surrounding her, it's just not happening. She just, I'm telling you, the whole game, they just did not let her rest. But she kept at it. She kept trying and everything like that. And that's the biggest thing, right? She didn't get completely discouraged and just give up on everything. Uh, which one is this? Oh, yeah. 2-4. 2-4 was an MVP of the game by far. Mainly because of her scoring. But then she did do a pretty good job on Nadi, Like, staying in front of her as I had sh shown her on the half court as well and everything. Great work. <laughs> ah, man. She had an open lane. Well, not open lane, but she had a one-on-one -on -one at the lane and everything. And then, ah. Uh, and look, three is right there. I'm telling you, three. I did not recognize how, how involved she was in this game. Very impressed with her. And then, again, here, let's just... And this was, I think there was less than a minute left at this point and everything. But Adi is just not, not giving in, not quitting, not giving up. Great show right here. Just look at that commitment. I know for a fact she ain't shooting that, but look at that. Tell me as a defender doesn't instantly <laughs> make you think she's going to shoot that. And then drive. Good work. Not quite a floater. Not quite a finish. But she was working. She was trying. Good job. Was that 3 3 that sealed? In a, in a, not on purpose. <laughs> but yeah, no, it was it was a heck of a game to watch. These uh these girls, Chapin is just something else. I'd probably pull up a random video and show you how skilled their offense is. Actually, here, let me show you a highlight. 2-4. Two, 2-4, four. Two, four, man. <laughs> Six seconds, right? Six or so. <sighs> Golly. Just automatic. Just clutch. All right, so let's watch them on offense a little bit. I know I've been talking about their defense a lot. But this right here, think it just reminds me of Villanova, the way that they move the ball around. And maybe it's because I've been watching Villanova quite a bit recently. So don't think it's just their defense now. They got teamwork. Move it around. Look, 2-4 actually missing. I think she missed two. Maybe two. That might have been her only. No, yeah, I think she missed two all game. But then hustle right here. Hustling on an uh, offensive rebound. The way they move the ball around and everything. And then watch. Instantly going into defense, right? Where we at? Hustle. Work. Work. Nope. Got that double full court. Take away that lane. I'm telling you, this, this was a solid team. Nope. Good pass. Now 
Now, right here, remember guys, what moves faster than the ball? Nothing, right? Good job getting that. Gets her that open lane. Tifo just gets in the way. That's all she does. Then move, pass. Nothing moves faster than the ball. And then bucket by five. By the way, she is a dime. Like, the passes she was getting, I think there was like a good four or five in, in one play alone. Hustle, don't. There you go. Aggressive close in. Good job there. Closing in aggressively. Uh, th this right here was the whole game. This is how that whole defense played. They were just dogs. Look at this right here. Watch 3-4 in that passing lane already. There's no size here. No size here at all. But she stays in front of her. That's all you got to do. Stay in front. That's it. Just make make it more difficult. You're not playing NBA here. Pass. Pass. Beautiful. I'm telling you, this team just... Whew, awesome. Great to see. And look at that. Right back on defense. Oh, so this one as well. So we all know Adi's who's who's they're trying to get the ball to, right? But like I had mentioned before, second half, coach already knows what's going on. Coach says, all right, that's the one thing we want to take away from them. So she knows the ball's going to come back to her. Be aggressive. The only time this is okay is when you have this kind of defense out here. Look who's already there. She might look like she's open, but let's see. Yep, exactly. I thought so. I had a feeling she was rotated to the middle. Five right here. Great work. Take away that. Completely took away that. And then. She's our own little cookie monster right here. <laughs> Let's see. Now we're in half court. What's the defense do? Go back to what they normally do. Keep at it. And then 4-4. Four, four. Good job. Wish we could have seen that more, but. Good work. I'm telling you, this team, it, it was a solid team for them. It was a great game. I know they might not have felt it because the, the score ended up being... Oh, yeah, by the way, this right here before the half. But the score ended up being so lopsided at the end that it might not have felt like uh, Chapin got much out of this. But I think this was a great game for their coaching staff um, and great game for the players because they did get to go against an actual, like a real baller out there. No offense to the Chapin girls, but I don't think there's a single one of them that could lock her down on one-on-one, -on -one, right? But as a team, clearly, they've got more than enough to get the job done and everything. And then on offense, they just kept rotating. They literally just kept doing what you want to do is just keep moving the ball around until you get an open shot. Keep moving around, so on and so forth. But Awesome game. And then for the Isleta girls and everything like that, like I was saying... Just know your role and, and be great at it. Be great at your role. Yeah, there's there's a couple things Adi could have done better. Guarantee you there is. I personally don't think that there was much of anything she could do because the defense is just so solid. Oh, yeah. In case, by the way, in case you guys were wondering why in the third quarter and all that, this right here kept happening in the third quarter too where they were just ball denial on Adi. Ball denial, ball denial, ball denial. Look at that, Balden, Balden, I'm telling you, it was just the way that they played, and watch this, I love this right here, I forgot about this, so remember how I told you Balden, I, and Adi, well, she's open, right, well, identifies who it is, knows the ball's gonna come, great work, there's just, there's only so much you can do, but one thing you can do is not fucking quit not give up not quit not feel sorry for yourself just keep going see and it's not like they it's not like they have the most skilled offensive players individually right 
straight execution of the game plan that they had. And I haven't seen them play other than this game, but I guarantee you this is this is the norm for them. This is how great they are as a team. This is just what they do. <laughs> yeah. I uh I've got the game on the YouTube channel. In fact, I'll probably upload this this last video that I'm doing right here onto YouTube as well. You guys got to watch the full game. If you really want to see what a full team defense can do, just watch this entire game and you'll see the difference between the second, I mean the first half and the second half, the adjustments that they made and everything. But against this team, this is literally what you want to do, just get the ball out of Adi's hand. Just get the ball out of her hand. Make it impossible. Don't allow her to get comfortable. Get the ball out of her hand, and then everything else will just work out for you. Let's see. And then, like I said, the one chance she got to drive and everything like that was off of a rebound and everything. So that's one thing. Another thing I will say with Adi. So there were opportunities. They weren't the easiest bucket, but guess what? If you're going to be known as the best player on your team and you want to be known as one of the best players in the city, you got to hit these shots. The, those very small amount of opportunities you're going to have against a solid team like them, you've got to you got to punish them for it. You you have to because guess what it'll do? It'll test their will. It'll test to see if they're like, well, I did everything I possibly could and she still got that. That's completely different than okay. See, she's not that great. That, that's how that's how you'll view it as a defense. You got two different mindsets that can go through, and it might not be all of them that you'll be able to break. But if you're able to break one or two, the defense can or the game can completely change. But like I said, you didn't give up, and that was huge for me. I, w I wanted to see if you were going to. And it was really important. Free throws, by the way. Come on now. Come on now. Yeah, it was just. Two completely different stories when it came down to, uh, oh yeah, so three points, I guess, is what you guys scored in the second half. But that's all I want to do on my defense against this team. Get the ball off Adi's hand. Denial, denial, denial. Stay on her. That's all I want to do. Just keep the ball out of out of her hands. And again, the other three rotate in. By the way, yeah, that's another thing uh, Coach Jones was telling me about, and I see it. There's only eight. They have eight, and that's it. And there are eight freaking ballers. This is one I talk about. I prefer quality over quantity, right? I don't want a whole 15 sitting on my bench. Or a whole, I guess it would be another 10 sitting on my bench. If you're not going to be of any benefit to my program, why do I want you there? Right? And why do you want to be there? If you're not skilled enough to be with the rest of your teammates rotating in, why do you want to be there? So get good. Get better. Good kick. Hustle. Oh, man. Still, like I said, even with that score difference, this was a good game all around. Both teams, I think, benefited from it. Uh, both coaching steps should have learned quite a bit. A lot more positive for one team over the other, of course. Adi, just never quit. Never stop trying. Look at this, like even end of the game, right? Look at the score. Let's see. Let's see how she is down here. Meh. Not much there. Oh look at that still. It's just in her to play defense, man. End of the game. I'm telling you. Help us with sleeping on this young lady. They really are. All right, guys. Well, thank you for sticking around. Uh, I also have the video of just her offensive plays. It's not all of them. It's just the, the main ones and everything like that. You guys can check it out. Um, I think I already put it on the YouTube channel. But, Adi, hope you got to watch this video. I know there was a lot that I said on here. I uh, hope some of the chicken girls get to see it as well. But, uh, yeah. All right. But.